Hey guys, Shore Wars here with another episode of Thresh Wins. And this was actually an interesting episode because we won in convincing fashion. Basically, this is one of the, not a rare occurrence, but it's nice when everything kind of goes your way. And um, everything here went according to plan. So you'll see here, basically I'm playing support, obviously, with Jinx. Making sure that I don't last hit these minions so that she can uh, get as much gold as possible. I will hit the minions every once in a while, just once or twice to kind of soften them up. But I actually asked Jinx if she wanted me to do that before I started doing it. So here we get Vayne pretty low. I feel like we can definitely take her down. And I wanted Jinx to pick up the kill. But I ended up getting the first blood. <laughs> so whatever works, at least we got the kill. Obviously, it would be better if the ADC is picking up the kills, because she'll be more dangerous, but it's all good. We got the kill, and right now I'm just warding. At this point, I've already got the Sight Stone, which is usually one of the first items that I, I purchase with Thresh. And again, land another hook on Vayne and manage to put down some good damage on her. Sonya's, Sona's trying to do her best to keep Jinx you know, at bay, and I almost dive under turret here to go for the kill, but I'm thinking, no, no, no. I'm the support, I gotta protect Jinx. So again, trying to curb that over-aggressiveness. Again, Vayne just diving on us, being over-aggressive, and Jinx picks up a kill on Vayne there, that was nice. And it looked like Jinx was gonna try to dive on Sona right there, but she didn't, so. We're able to uh, work, I'm able to work my way toward Dragon. I wanna basically ward out Dragon, and as soon as I do, I throw out a pink ward, I spot Lee Sin. He's obviously coming to dive on Jinx because she's pretty low on health. I see that right here I should probably throw my lantern and I don't. I'm not sure why. Probably because it was already too late to save Jinx, but that was a mistake on my part. The lantern had just finished on the uh, cooldown and I should have tossed that out there at least to try. But lay down a ward in the bush, always important as support. Trying to protect Jinx with everything I got at this point, but three three of them diving down like that, it's really, really super hard to keep Jinx alive. And here comes Jax to kind of turn this, this match around. So I'm actually going to push up, get down a flay on Sona, flash forward, and almost land the chain here for a kill, but didn't quite reach it. So I'm going to go help out Jax so we can finish off vein right there and uh, pick up a little more gold so that worked in our favor at this point we're gonna try to push down this bottom turret vein is trying to hit us with everything she's got but it really doesn't matter nice evasive maneuver there to avoid my chain jinx and i are just kind of cleaning up these minions so we're just going to keep pushing this bottom lane but before we do i'm going to make sure to ward out these bushes and make sure that you know Lee Sin's not in the vicinity anymore or if he is that we can actually get out of there so I'm always trying to make sure I'm laying down good vision for both myself and the ADC Vayne again within reach of the chain and she actually kind of goes the wrong way here she tries to hide in the bushes and it's just too late we managed to put down enough damage to kill her so that's a good pickup for us and now we're going to just continue pushing as much as we can. Here comes Zed, though. And again, my lantern is on cooldown. So I thought for sure <laughs> Zed was going to kill Jinx right there. She manages to survive the ignite. And I throw out the heal to make sure that Jinx doesn't die. And then we're both just going to recall to base. So at this point, I should be able to pick up the Talisman of Ascension, which I did. Which is going to help speed up my my character and and my teammates whenever I need to right here we're just again just harassing basically Vayne and Sona so we're just gonna keep pushing on them zoning them out as much as possible I'm pretty sure their <laughs> jungler's gonna show up or here comes Zed actually managed to throw a flay out to prevent Zed from jumping on Jinx Vayne gets a little over aggressive. I try to hook her, but I completely missed and actually hit Zed with it. So here comes Victor now. Jax is already jumping on them. Jax picks up a kill. We take down Vayne again. I actually picked up the kill there, which is kind of cool, but as the support, not really my role to pick up kills. I'm just trying to 
help with, you know, putting damage down on them as much as possible. And if I get the kill, so be it. But that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm actually trying to give the kills to my other teammates. So after we put that pressure on the bottom lane, we're able to pick up an easy dragon. And we're just going to run straight up the river here, throw out some wards. And here comes another team fight. They've tried to jump on Victor and they actually kill him. I follow my chain and we basically we basically just get super aggressive here. So we take down Sona. And we're just chasing out Zed now. And at this point I'm going to use the Talisman of Ascension just to make sure we have enough <laughs> speed to pick him up. Land a chain on Zed and he's done with. And now Volibear tries to get in the mix, but it's way too late, so the four of us take him down pretty easily. This is a pretty cool comp, by the way. I actually thought this was uh, an interesting way to play. So, Trindamir in the top lane, Jax in the jungle, Jinx ADC, Thresh support, and then Victor in the middle. So, I thought this actually worked out pretty well. And you're going to see that at this point, the other team is basically about to give up. They've got one more chance at a team fight here. Sona gets hooked. I feel like as soon as she goes down, the other team is just like, alright, it's over. So, <laughs> we're just going to keep putting pressure on this middle inhibitor turret. I noticed that Lee Sin is, you know, he's trying to do all he can, but he's diving a little too low. So, just clear a couple more of these minions, throw out the chain, hook him, and before we can even take him down, the enemy team surrenders. So, Pretty quick match, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you get a chance, please feel free to follow me on Twitter and shoot me a message. Talk to you again soon.